Hey, thanks for joining me here on Dream It, Make It. My name is TJ, and today we are going to be cooking in some crazy cold weather. Well, not today. Today is really nice. This was a few days ago, but it was crazy cold. That is cold, wow. So on today's video, we are gonna be looking at the Oklahoma Joe Bronco, and we're gonna see how long a basket of lump charcoal, B&B &B lump charcoal will last in this crazy cold weather. Right now it is like 13 degrees, look at all this snow. It is like 13 degrees outside and it's only getting colder, it's gonna get down to like three or two. They said possibly even below zero. We'll see. But I'm gonna let you know how long this basket goes in this cold of temperature. And look, I didn't even uncover the Bronco. This is just, it's covered in snow still. And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. All right, so I'm starting off with the uh, Oklahoma Joe Bronco basket, just the original size basket, not the, the pro size. I've got it full of some lump charcoal and uh, let's get this thing lit up. Man, this may be hard with gloves. One second. All right, gloves off. Get this thing lit up. One side. There we go. Got my intake open. And let this go get these charcoals going and then we'll drop it down into the drum and uh sorry my big old gloves are in the way we'll get it into the drum and we'll see how long this basket will last all right so i had trouble with it starting on top like i normally do so i went ahead and i put two down below lit them up and we're going to see if we can get it going this way it is so cold it is currently like 11 degrees outside so we'll see how this goes all right so i went ahead and threw a couple pieces of cherry wood in here because i am actually cooking I'm not just wasting this charcoal doing some pork shots in a separate video if you want to check that out i have a link above there they go i'm gonna get this lid shut back down so we maintain our temp we're gonna get those temps up and then we are going to, um, whoop, actually, before we get that down, let's go ahead and get our deflector in here. All right, get that deflector on. There it is. Get our grate on the top, get this all hot, and then we'll get that grate good and cleaned off, and ready to cook on back with you here in just a little bit all right it has been three hours just gonna come out here and check on it real quick see how we are sitting I apologize for the lighting I'm not in the normal spot that I am in but that's the charcoal it's burned so far in three hours now I have been running up to this point at 300 degrees um, because of the cook that I was doing. So 300 degrees. All right, this is six hours in right here. Six hours. All right, so it's been a few days since I was uh, making the video, and uh, it's really nice today. Probably wear shorts and a t-shirt outside and be just fine. But let's get back to what we were talking about. 
when I left off, it was at the six hour mark. And at that six hour mark, I thought I got probably at least another hour out of this. So I shut down the lid and I could not get the temp above 250. And I was trying to keep it at that 300 um, for the hot and fast. That's, that's what we were going for. That's the test we were doing. How long would the hot and fast at 300 last? Well, six hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. That's it. Um, in fact, within like 20 minutes, I couldn't even keep it above 230. It was done. And uh, it was way too dark. I couldn't get any good footage to show you the basket, but it was, it was done at six hours. Now, I feel like that's okay because I was, I was running pretty hot uh, and I was running lump charcoal. Uh, but if you're wanting to go long, hot burn times, the best option I found is briquettes. Um, the, I just, that's, that's the best that I found. Um, some other guys on YouTube were talking about the, uh, the, uh, the lump being great cause it burns hot and it burns fast and then they have great burn times. I just haven't had that luck even in warm weather. So if you're wanting those long burn times and even hot, I would just stick with the briquettes. Um, I like B and B and I like uh, jealous devil, both of them. I've had really good burn times with, I think the, the jealous devil I went 17 hours with and uh, doing that, you know, circular pattern that I do with the briquettes. Um, and it, and it worked great. Um, I just don't know that I'm going to do, try to ever do any long smokes with the uh, lump charcoal. Um, also with the lump charcoal, I find that the temperatures, you know, they go up and down because they've got big pieces and small pieces. In this video, I tried to make sure that all of the pieces were about the same size. They were all really small. Um, and there was a few bigger chunks in there, but for the most part, it was all small. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe. It, it would really help me out if you would subscribe and uh, share. I mean, if you, if you got some buddies cooking on the Bronco, share with them. Let them know uh, what I have found out um, with the lump. And, uh, of course, and with the briquettes. I've got that other video video up uh, link above where I'm, I'm talking about super long burn time. I think it was 17 hours with the briquettes. Uh, so thanks for watching and, uh, we'll see you in the next video.